it's, it's truth in my music. This is real what I speak. So to the public eyes, she thinks she's a bully. No, I'm broken. Mm. I'm angry. I'm hurt. Mm. I need help. They, do y'all do y'all get me help? No. Do you know what they do to me? They point fingers. They judge. Call me all type of names. Sometimes I feel like, you know, I ain't want to wake up. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J. Hill, was in the building. Um, I don't know how you gonna do that, though, bro. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm just, I'm, I'm just I'm super finicky. My bad. But what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J. Hill, was in the building. J. Hill Podcast. Oh, man. Special edition. Listen, let me tell you how... I walked, well, this this young lady walked in the building, and the first thing she said was, what took you so long? I'm like, damn, if I knew I could get you, you know what I'm saying, I would have been hit you, hit you up. But having said that, man, this 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 lady is uh, dope as hell. Um, Dope-ass story. I mean, shit is crazy. You feel what I'm saying? But like, I just want to get straight into it. Akbar V is in the building. Hi, how you guys doing? What's up? What's up? Yo, um... I do want to go back into the conversation we were having mm-hmm. off camera, right? Yeah. Uh, you were saying you don't hold back, whatever, because there ain't, ain't no reason to. Yeah. Um, I'm more of a, I just tell it like it is, like I speak my mind. But, you know, like in this industry that I'm in, it's hard to be like that. And I think that's what held me back so long, like with trying to really be where I want to be. Mm. It was like me saying whatever I want to say. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. Like, Damn. Can we put a like a, a thumbtack on that really quick, right? Because I wanted to touch on that. That's yeah, crazy. Go ahead. But I wanted to ask you, just mm-hmm. having us to, having a conversation to talk about other interviews and shit like that. I was wondering, like, yo, you've did so you you like you said, you turned down a lot of interviews, but you did plenty of interviews for mm-hmm. real, right? And I was wondering, is it anything that you think it was a missed opportunity to talk about if all your interviews that you something that you wasn't able to share, something that somebody might not have asked you that you look back and like, damn, I wish I would have talked about that. Or I wanted people to look at me like this. Like, was it a missed opportunity or something that you miss with all the interviews you have? I think that people really have it in their head already. Like when they see me on Love and Hip Hop and they just, oh, she's this, she's messy, she's, and then like, you know, I have got into a lot of arguments online and, you know, and a lot of it is me just saying what I wanted to say because, you know, I'm from the streets and I feel like, you know, I can say what I want to say not knowing that these are the people that the consumers are watching and people are going to judge you for saying what they want you want to say. And you can't just be, take this attitude to, you know, you can't take the street attitude to this industry, industry, you know, to the industry. So I think um, for the most part, um, it's me now. I'm just trying to rebrand myself. Mm. And I'm trying to be humble. And that's what I'm praying for, to be humble. Mm. And that's why I'm in that closet praying and humbling myself before God to get direction and to... uh, surrender and a lot of people don't understand what it is to surrender to god and i don't either Mm. so what i did and that's why i told you i couldn't drink i said god okay whatever you have me to do you know recently uh i went viral online for praying and i was praying for thug and gunner and all them Mm. and if you've been following me and really know me I pray, I'm anointed, I'm gifted. 
But see, a lot of people can't understand that part because I'm also a cuss you out mm -hmm. and get real ignorant with you too. So it's hard for people to grasp that anointed soul because they too busy focus on the human flesh. The flesh. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that I'm asking God to just change me and make me over, you know, and asking and let his will be done. And I've been in my closet. Like, that's why I just I ain't been posting, you know. And he said, give him three days. So that's why I just been in the closet praying. No sex, no alcohol, no nothing. Just in that closet talking to God and asking for direction, for humbleness. And, you know, you don't even supposed to, bo you know, speak when you fasting and stuff like that but i also feel like um it's a that i can really just say that i'm i'm trying and i'm asking for that like i'm i'm trying to be humble i want to be humble a lot of people you know they judge me on what they think they know but they don't really know who i am i really also feel that my story haven't really got told the way it should mm -hmm. you know like to be honest I've been rapping, and I'm I'm a rapper. They know I can really spit. But have my story have got told like it should have got told? Or the have it been told? It, be told? it have never been told. Mm. My story have never been told because they want me to rap about things, you know, the what these girls rap about, the 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 stuff that they – and that is not – that's not really who I am. I'm a rapper. Like, I can rap, and – I've been through a lot of pain since a kid that, you know, the industry felt like, oh, you can't talk about this because, you know, they not going to be able to, we need, we need this, we need that, we need you to, and to be honest, even with my weight loss, they peer pressured me to lose weight. Like, mm. I always, you know, and I go around and be like, oh, you know, I wanted to, I was okay with just being a pretty fat girl. You know, but then I also felt like I couldn't make it in the industry if I didn't get the weight off of me. And mm -hmm. then when I got the weight off of me, it's like a lot more opportunities start happening for me. You know? Wait, man. Wait, 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 wait. Because there's so much you touched on. It's so much. And it's, it's so it's so dope that you were able to be in a space to be able to share this. Right? Mm -hmm. But I don't want to miss any opportunities either. Okay. One thing that, that stood out to me that you said that I thought was super dope was people don't even know what surrendering look like mm -hmm. and the most important thing or the most interesting thing that I thought was I don't even know mm -hmm. right but I'm trying I'm here mm -hmm. right and a lot of people are so judgmental is like because I understand that too like I pray my girlfriend even says she was like I, I pray but I cuss you out you know what I'm saying but the people that's that's not really connected to God they're the ones that's judgmental because you can be human Right, and you still can make mistakes every single day. That doesn't, that doesn't take nothing but away from you in, and who you are. I was reading Romans eight, um, and Matthew seven, and I forgot which chapter it was that said, "Judge not, that ye will be judged." Mm. And they spoke about even the fast and and the praying. And he said, "When you and it, and it was Matthew six also that I was reading, but it, it was speaking about how when you go into your closet when you pray." You know what I'm saying? And I went in my closet to humble myself before God because, you know, I can't go online and say my real issues because they're going to judge me. Mm. I can't go online and say, oh, these bills do it. Um, I ain't got that to do this. Or I got, I'm in this situation with this dude and, this dude is in, you know, I got another dude. And I can't give them the real because they're going to judge me, right? Sure. Because they feel like you're famous and you're supposed to have this figured out or you're supposed to do this and you're supposed to do that. But they're not understanding that, yeah, I'm famous, but I'm not rich. But you're also a human being, though. Even if yeah. you was rich, like, I think we just seen Diddy say something online saying, bro, like, we all have problems. He's like, I'm P I'm Diddy, I'm Puffy, and I still have problems. But here is the thing, right? Okay, let's go back to when Akbar was in the streets, mm -hmm. right? Cleveland Avenue. Cleveland Avenue, mm -hmm. right? 
and B Slime was just here. Like yeah. they'll tell you, like female role with nothing but the dudes, right? I never had a mother. So it was hard for me to be a mom because I never had a mom, mm. right? So if you never had a mom, it's kind of hard for you to be a mom. But yeah. to this society, oh, well, she don't got her children. She's a deadbeat. She's this. Oh, I had my kids when they came out of the womb. Okay, but you also had your mom. Mm -hmm. Or you also had a father or a mother figure. My aunt had seven kids, and she took me and my sister in, mm. right? Now, Let's talk facts. You got seven kids of your own. You take two kids that's not your kids, right? You're in a three-bedroom apartment, projects. Mm -hmm. You're trying to survive. You're trying to survive, right? You're doing the best you can for your kids, and here come two more kids that don't even belong to you, and you're trying to make way for these kids that don't even belong to you. No, nah, for sure. And you have nothing but government, food stamps, welfare. And that ain't even much. Because you badly making it, right? Mm. Okay, now let's go back. I'm getting older. You know, my innocence gets taken away from me as a kid, right? But my auntie kept us in church. Ever since a little girl, I was rapping. I knew to rap. Mm. You got to understand. See, God gave me that gift as a kid. And I remember years ago he told me in a dream, he said, I gave you that gift. Nobody can take it from you, right? One thing about God, he showed me visions and dreams. And the thing is, he never tell you on what day it's going to happen. But just know if he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. He's mm -hmm. not a God that lied and his word don't come back void, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going back to the kid, Akbar, right? So I'm growing up. Innocence get taken. You know, I didn't plan for none of this to happen. To more, you, you said when I was a kid, like at you a know, age. my virginity, I didn't plan for this to happen. You know, I'm in a broken home. My aunt come get me and my sister. Okay, cool. My mom on drugs. Never knew my dad until I got grown. Right? Okay. I'm getting older. I'm going to school. Now, if you're in school, middle school, high school, these kids are very cruel. Right? Mm -hmm. You have to have a certain look. These tennis shoes, these Jordans coming out, the pet pet, academics, all this stuff. This is when all this is in style. Mm -hmm. Rock away, all of this is in style, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you start messing with older dudes, the drug dealers, right? And you start having sexual. Well, this dude know that I'm a kid. You know he shouldn't have no business messing with me. But I'm a kid, you know. And I'm looking for love in all the wrong places because mm. I lack love as a kid. My mom didn't give it to me. Nobody gave it to me, right? So what do you do? You grow up looking for love in all the wrong places. I'm having kids by men thinking that they love me. These men don't love me. They love my sexual pleasures, mm. right? This is real. Like, when I speak, I tell the truth. Like, even in my music, it's, it's truth in my music. This is real what I speak. So, to the public eyes, she thinks she's a bully. No. I'm broken. Hmm. I'm angry. I'm hurt. Hmm. I need help. They, do y'all do y'all get me help? No. Do you know what they do to me? They point fingers. They judge. Call me all type of names. Sometimes I feel like, you know, I ain't want to wake up out of my sleep. This was recently. Even the sex tape, you know, that resurfaced, that old girl put out. I got my kids. I have to re-explain this to my children. Everybody in their head, they feel like she's a bully. I'm not no bully. I lost fights. How could I be a bully and I lost fights? I got my butt beat before. I'm not a bully. I just been through a lot. And I have a I have a, a, a wall up because I don't trust people mm. because I, I know what people are do to you. I don't really trust family. I trust my pastor and I trust God. 
And it's a reason why I'm like that because of the things that I encounter. You know, my sister, them come to me in text messages and they feel like I don't come around them or it's things that I don't do that they want me to do. But they don't understand that I'm going through what I'm going through and I'm trying to figure it out. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and we ain't in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. And that's why I don't go around them mm. because I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to get there. I haven't reached where I want to be in my career. And people have a tendency to try to tell you how you should do it and how this should happen. But God didn't tell me that you are the person to do this for me. Because if he wanted you to do it for me, he would have showed me in a dream or a vision. And that's what people fail to realize about me. Before anything happens, I have a vision or a dream that God directs me and he shows me. So when I say I'm anointed, I'm not just broadcasting and saying, oh, I'm anointed. No, I'm really anointed. God talks to me. But I have to stay in prayer for him that really speaks to me. You know what I'm saying? Just like God showed me that this guy is my husband, right? And it's like this guy's in a relationship, but he's not married. And I asked my pastor, I say, Pastor, I had a I had a dream that God showed God God showed me that this guy was my husband in the dream. And my pastor said, Well if God showed you that that means that's your husband. And if you try to be with anybody else, it ain't going to work. Nothing is going to work. And that is surrendering to God. I can't go be in another relationship or this relationship or that relationship. It's not going to work because God already chose this person for me. Even though he's in a relationship, right? But he's not married. God honor marriages, not boyfriend and girlfriend, right? God ain't going to give me nobody else's husband. But he showed me that this is my husband. So... You know, my head is all over the place. I'm like, is this really my husband? Pastor, is this really my husband? I had this dream, but is this my husband? I go in my closet. Remember when I just told you I'm in my closet? Yesterday morning, my pastor come to me in the dream and say, God showed me the same thing. That it's your husband, but he showed me on a, um, it was on um, a holiday. Mm. The same dream. That was God showing me that I wasn't tripping, that he was my husband. He was That was confirmation. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So I called my pastor. I said, Pastor, I have another dream. She said, well, baby, that was God comfort, you know, giving me confirmation because my head was all over the place about if this was my husband. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he gave me another dream about it. You know? Mm. I think I'm going through so much right now that I can't depend on man. I got to go to God. And that's where I'm at mm. in my life. Like, I can't depend on a friendship or a family member. I got to go to God because God is calling me. Now, I understand when people look at me and say, oh, well... She's this, she's that. She get on here and she curse and she say this, she say that. That's because I'm in the flesh and I'm not in the spirit. I'm in the kernel mind. And the Bible speaks about being in the kernel mind and the spiritual mind. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So 
they judges. Like even when I got on live and I was praying. But what about the time that I got on live and I was telling people about the sicknesses they had and they looking at me like, how you know that? Mm. And telling them about their marriages and they looking at me like, how you know that? And I tell them that, you know, God told me I don't, you know, they know I didn't know them. It's the spirit, you know. But see, in this world that we live in, it's a mockery. They wanted to, they wanted something to laugh at. Mm. And I didn't care to be laughed at as long as I know I was doing it for a good cause. I wasn't being boastful. I wasn't uh I wasn't doing it to be uh oh to try to make it seem like I'm holier than thou. Because before I went into that prayer, I say, I'm a sinner. I need to be forgiven. Mm. That's how I go to God. You know, and I go to God and ask for forgiveness before I even pray. And I ask and I tell God, I say, if this not of you, remove it. Mm. Meaning my life will just go off. He'll remove it. If it ain't of you, I'm not, he know my heart. That's when he say he judges the heart of the people. You know, I'm not going on live to pray with people just to pray. Them folks come in my DM and say, Akbar, can you pray? I don't even have the energy sometimes to pray with them. You know, when I get on live and I pray, it takes a toll out of me because I'm still fighting demons and my household and spirit that my children come home with. I was laying in my bed one night and I asked God to show me what my son was doing. Four o'clock in the morning, a text come through my phone. I don't know how it came through my phone. From his phone, he's having sex. This is how good God is. This is how God showed me. I'm, I, I love God. And I know that God is all I got to depend on. Mm -hmm. I don't have nobody. I don't have people out here. Ever since I was a kid, I had God. And he sent people. Yeah, he do. But do I trust people? No. I don't trust nobody. I trust God. I trust my pastor. Fame. Fame. It's the notoriety. It ain't even much so of money. It's fame. It'll make people feel like they have to do the worst things to you. Like, oh, they got to do this. They, you don't have to be like that. Mm. I've been this way since I was a kid. I walk in the room, the room light up. This is who I am. It's just certain people that got it and certain people don't. You can't buy it. It can't be taught. I know that I have it. And nobody can't come to me and say, you don't got it. I know I got it. They don't have to prep me for it. I know who I am. Mm. Okay? But I'm not boastful. I don't look down on people. Yeah, I done been in a lot of altercations. Because that girl was angry. So I do want to ask you this then. How do you arrive at this place now, right? Because, again, we all make our mistakes and things like that. But understanding that the industry and fame is just a dangerous game to play, right? How do you arrive here? I don't even know. I know that it's just morning I woke up. I just want to rap mm. and tell my story. That's all I ever wanted to do was to rap and tell my story. And a lot of people have, they feed off of it. Like they, a lot of people, it, it wasn't a gift for a lot of people because that's why people have writers and things like that. And people get, you know, they get prepped for certain things, right? Mm -hmm. But see, it was a gift for me that I know God gave me. That right? came naturally. It came naturally. I remember my first rap as a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, so why why am I here now? It's called growth. It's called me, you know, I'm praying a lot more. I'm just trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't even know what next week hold or tomorrow hold. I know I'm trying to do right. I know I want to change. I know I just want to be better. Even with my kids, you know, me having my kids and, 
you know, I got one son that I'm in court now trying to get and, you know, my pastor prayed with me this morning because I go to court actually Tuesday. Mm. And I don't think I'm going to win the case. But I do think that all things work good for those who love God. And I love God, and I know that even if I don't win that case and get my last son now, I know it was for a reason because my son is doing things that he shouldn't do, that my other kids at home don't do, you know, that I caught him doing. God opened my eyes to that. And um, I'm just praying. I don't know which way God is going to move. I just pray that, you know, that everything work out that way it's supposed to work out, and I know it will. So is it hard like being the place that you are right now, mentally and spiritually. It's very hard. Is it, talk to me about the struggles of, you know, just the everyday life and people trying to pull you back to the old Akbar V, right? Or like not even say, like, I mean, it's public now, but Valerie, right? It's like people not understanding who Valerie is, but steady trying to tug and pull at Akbar V, like, because they know you, they're going to get a reaction. But yeah. you're still trying to stay in this spiritual place and this, and in God's word, right? You're trying to stay there. Talk to me about the struggle of that and how hard it's that is. It's very hard because, like, me not fighting people back when they hit me or something, like. That's hard. That's hard, right? That's hard. And it's very hard. Um, an incident had happened, and one of my homegirls, she hit me. I didn't hit her back. Mm. And I couldn't hit her back. But she knew the old me. We would have been out there fighting for how long it took. Win, lose, or draw. And I just felt like I was in a different headspace. So I, when did you arrive at that head, in that headspace, though? I've been here for, like, the fighting and stuff. It's like I've been here like months now. So what about so again? And you got my word that this this is not about to be no um. No, you can go ahead. Clickbait. I, but I'm gonna tell you this is my word. I'm gonna give you my word. I'm, I'm a man of my word. It's no clickbait. Whatever but you I have want, to say, I, I can wanna, answer it. I want to ask you. So, not saying that you have to be perfect because that's not what I'm trying to say at all. I want to word it right for, for us to be able to communicate through it, right? So you've been there, but how long? Because I didn't even. With I swear I ain't B. even go into it. I ain't even look. I'm like, man, we got more bigger fish to fry. But I'm B. trying to paint a picture. Yeah. With the that B. was what, a month ago? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you've been in this space. How does that happen then? It happens when I'm not in prayer and I'm in the flesh. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. I can see that. It's honest. But what makes the flesh angry, right? Like, what makes that. What makes your flesh upset that it's like, okay, bro, so I got to go back on what, what, what I'm, what I'm okay, trying to be Okay, so in. when you, all right, I mean, I want to be able to explain it the right way. Okay. I guess, what was it about? And I guess that can walk you into it. My friend hit me. Mm hmm Right? Physically hit me. Mm. I look at her as family. Okay. Right? The old me, we would have been fighting. Mm -hmm. Right? Cardi not my friend. I don't really know Cardi. Mm -hmm. Right? But still, I'm in the flesh. Arguing with her. Period. Right? And the things that she was saying triggered. The things that she done triggered this situation. It was more of some like family. And I understood the pain with this situation because I understood what this person was going through. She's going through a lot. Mm. And I understood. And I also knew that this wasn't this person. Something really just happened to this person. That caused that her caused this to feel these ways and to do feel things. this what's going on. 
you can relate it wasn't that. just she didn't just do nothing to me it was like she's on her she got a lot of trauma exactly, right now. yeah but you probably yeah. can relate to that because i could that... and i could but if i call her right now and i need her she's gonna pull up angst no questions nothing the above you get it i feel you you get what i'm saying no nah, for sure and I felt like it was just something in me. I just couldn't. So what were the triggers? Were you able to, now that it's, it's done, were you able to go back and acknowledge those triggers, whatever those triggers were that I don't know what Cardi said or whatever? Are you able to see what those were now? What, what the triggers? triggers? Mm -hmm. Of triggers? course. What was it? My kids. Mm, okay. Sex tape okay. you bringing up. Like, like certain stuff, like when you bring certain things up, it, it triggers me because my kids are in the home with me and they got to watch this. They got to go to school. You posting a sex tape that my kids got to go to school. They got to have people come at them about and it throwing me back into trauma. Now, was this unprovoked or was, do you think something, some of your actions uh, provoked it? Like, cause again, I, once again, I don't feel like, I did anything to her for, to do that. Okay. They were sending me a lot of things about her that I could have posted and I didn't do it. Okay. So we're going to talk. As a mother, I don't feel like she should even scoop that low. Like, and let's just be real. You got kids, I got kids. Do you think that's something that you probably could revisit and have a conversation off the internet away from everybody to like piece that up or is that like no going well, back? Well, I just don't want to, at this space that I'm in, I just don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to, trying to, I'm trying to fix me. Can't be mad at that for sure. And it's nothing against nobody. I just need to fix me. I need, I need to heal. I need to get me together. I need to, because that tape, and that tape really messes with me mm. and throws me into depression because here's the thing. I have to get on the internet and act like, oh, I'm smiling and this and try to be a strong woman to not feel humiliated, but inside I be dying. Mm. That's some real shit, man. You know, because here's the thing. If I get on here and I cry, ooh, I look weak. But you can't, and once again, you can't get on here and I'm going to look weak. Not the first thing they say, oh, not not her. She's a bully. She's this. But not knowing that, I feel so humiliated. This hate have me don't want to wake up in the morning. I'm depressed. You know, like I talk to my pastor every five minutes. It throws me into a state of, don't want to wake up. Don't know what my kids is dealing with. Don't know what I'm battling with at home. This is a lot for me to face. On top of that, I still got to get on Instagram and because you still got to keep moving. Because if I don't get on Instagram and post these, you know, the ads, you know, these these branding deals, and then guess what? I don't make no money to feed my kids. Mm. It's crazy, man. It's, even outside of the ads, do you feel like social media or just today's age kind of make it hard for you to be to yourself, right? It's like you got to yeah. be, especially with our, your profile, right? Not even say our, your, your profile, like like you, Akbar, be like you say you famous, everybody know who you are, shit, you got songs. Nick, it's like you're lit. You was mm -hmm. on Love and Hip Hop, like the, the list goes on, you know what I'm saying? How hard is it being in that position as being someone of notoriety? Yo, what's poppin'? This episode is sponsored by BK Juices. Look, man, if you're looking for some drinks that's refreshing and that's also healthy, make sure you check out BK Juices. You can find them online at bkjuices.com. Social media, Instagram is the real BK Juices, and Facebook is BK Juices. If you want 10% off, all you got to do is go online at bkjuices.com, enter the promo code jhill 10 you get 10% off. Like I said, if you're looking for something that tastes good, that's refreshing, and that's also healthy for you, check out my people at bkjuices.com. That's BK Juices. It's very hard, but I know I signed up for it. Mm. And that's why I always stretch the fact that I got to pray extra harder. Like, I don't think people understand, like, 
what I be going through because they feel like she's a bully. Let me ask you this then, because one thing, and again, we, so the questions that I prepared for are like kind of pre, so if we can put our minds pre, you stepping in this space, right? So forgive me for my ignorance, but I was, I was curious because I like, I did some, some research I understand like you got shot, right? And in the head, right? So we got to make that known. What I didn't understand was, and again, this is pre you stepping into this space, but I was trying to wonder, I'm like, yo, life is so short. And I feel like if anybody know that, Akbar, oh, Akbar V knows that. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I feel like a lot of the situations, I was wondering, did you ever think twice, like, yo, like, fuck all of this nonsense. Life is way sh- sh- too short for me to be no. going back and forth with anybody. No. Damn. Because here's the thing, right? You're not thinking about that years go down the line. Like, certain stuff happened at the spare of the moment. You ain't thinking about, oh, you just got shot in 2016. You're not thinking about that because you here, you living, right? Like, even though, you know, I got shot in the head, I'm thankful to be here. I'm just I'm just thankful to be here, right? Mm. But let's talk about how many people I seen die that was close to me. And I'm still not thinking about that. Until maybe you just said that or maybe another incident happened, you know, then I was like, man, God, I'm just thankful to be here. Mm. Facts. Shit can you know? go so quick. We here today, next day. Life is precious. And that's why I was wondering, like, do you even do you think about that now? Like, bro, like yeah, I ain't already like, know, but I don't got time. Like And I and I think about that. Here's the thing, like, even when I was on Instagram and Twitter and doing all that arguing, it was more so of like, you not finna bully me, like, you what what you ain't who you talking to? That's like I felt like I I you not gonna punk me. Like mm. that's was in my mind, like because what well, what I'm saying got to do with you. A lot of people don't feel, a lot of people lack confidence, though. So, like, when people say things, people take it as sub- subliminals, right? So, because I'm not a confident in but me. But here's the thing, though, right? Had I would have done what she done, they would have been like, oh, now she's clout chasing, she's this. You get it? Of course, it. yeah. But don't have no, don't have no respect for person. Mm. If, if that make any sense. Because if I didn't mention your name, then I ain't talking to you. If it don't apply, let it fly. Period. Do you think, so it's funny because I, I think I seen, um, I think it was like at the 13 minute mark or your other push interview, you were saying like um, a lot of women, and this is a while ago now, but a lot of women put, not women, a lot of people put women against each other. I kind of feel like, I, now, bro, I'm not going to lie, I kind of feel like it'd be the opposite nowadays. I feel like, Women put each other against each other, like, if that makes sense. I'm saying the the people, the consumers, like, you can go and say something, and they're going to say you saying this about this person. Facts, yeah, yeah that's weird. Why but is that? Anything why about that? me, I'm going to say your name. Like, but why do you think do people do that? Like, I don't that know. That shit is weird. That's crazy. Damn, man. Nah, that's crazy. I think um, I was talking to my friend earlier, and I was saying, man, I kind of wish all the women could get along, but it's like it, that 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 would never even exist. Like all the men don't get along. You know what I'm saying? Like that Nobody that, could that probably would never. That's even in the Bible. Even in the last days, it speaks when when you know the it become peace or something like that. That's when God was coming back. You know what I'm saying? So. I guess it was meant to be chaotic. But do you have a, do you, like, why do you think it's like that, though? Like, as far as the woman, I guess. Like, it's like everybody coming for the top spot, but who, who, who qualifies who's the best nowadays? Like, who, who, like, it does that even matter? Like, even, even if we had a best, right? If we had the best rapper alive, right? And you're the second best rapper alive, like, what, what does that mean? Why to is that so honest, bad? I feel like, <laughs> to be honest, and this is me. I'm being realistic and because I'm a fan of hip hop mm-hmm. first and foremost, right? To be the best in rap, 
you have to write your own lyrics. Okay. This is hip hop. This is not R and B. This is how I feel. Mm -hmm. This is to be the best. You need to write your own lyrics. You need to be able to be able to spit and to rap. That's what rappers do. They write. They rap. R and B. You had a voice. To be the best, you had to know how to sing. Mm -hmm. Multiple people could sing. But it was only one Whitney Houston. It was only one Mariah Carey. Right? Mm -hmm. We're rapping. Your lyrics spoke for you. Right? Mm -hmm. You have to know how to rap and push your pen. This is hip-hop. And people have just got lazy well I'm, my question is why does any of that matter though like i just feel like if we're feeding our families like it ain't if, about that that's not what it's about it's we talking about hip-hop and i understand other things with feeding your family that's fine to feed your family mm -hmm. i'm not saying that it's wrong to not want to feed your family i want to feed mine for sure we're talking about when you speak about the greats mm -hmm. and the top fives, and I get excited of talking about my top fives, and because I'm a hip hop fan, this is not for everybody. Right. This is not for the new generation. No, it's not. We, if we being honest, it's not for them. Why, why, why don't you? Why don't you think so? I don't. I don't think so because this our new generation, they don't feel like you have to write anything to be labeled as the best i guess yeah but that's not how that go i grew up listening to spitters big pop you know what i'm saying like I, i'm growing i'm growing up on that mm -hmm. you know eve missy elliott mm -hmm. foxy brown lil kim she, not, she might not be a rapper but Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. <laughs> Lauren Hill is a rapper to me. She's Lauren Hill. You know, I grew up off that. So, Queen Latifah, MC Light. I'm growing up off that. So, it's kind of hard for me to just grab to just anything. And I and I can't because I like to listen to when, when they go to them debates and saying, oh, Lil Wayne is this and Drake is this and mm -hmm. yeah, I wanna yeah, I get aroused when I hear For that. Sure. And that, but that's what that's what I'm talking about. I think like, do you think we get caught up in like just the old times? Because it's new times. Like think about it, Drake, right? Perfect example. Drake is probably, to me, arguably, one of the best artists I've since Lil Wayne. To be but, honest. But but here's the thing with Drake. Drake write his music. Not all that he write, but Drake is a spitter though. He yeah, can rap. For sure. Okay, so but he that's got what people writing his music, and he that got, was forbidden. A while, but a while but ago. here's the thing, though. No, 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 no. See, you can write like that's what I'm saying when I say this. These new girls don't write a lick. Okay. Now, okay, somebody give you a certain hook, or you know, you collab with some. All right, that's cool. But these new girls is too boastful. Don't push not one pen. So and you, you want to be labeled as the best? You want your name? Me. I'm being real. I want my name to be talked about years from now and saying to be, oh, she's in the, like, I want to be labeled as one of those ones. Okay. So what I do, I go study Foxy Brown Cadence. I go study the lyrics. I go study Nicki Minaj lyrics. Her, man, listen, y'all don't even know, like, <laughs> I really study, like, I go and I put on the old Nicki Old Foxy, old Eve. Then I go listen to R and B music. I love music. It's a passion for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Atlanta. I go put on that Andre 3000, that old Ti. Still ain't forgave myself. Like this is this is what I do. I don't know what nobody else do to you know to get them where they need to be. Hold on, cause my oh, kids. Take your time. This is my kids. Hold on, you can. Thank you. But this is, this is what I do to get back. Like right now, I'm in the studio, but I'm not in the studio because 
I need to figure it out, like, what I'm going to rap about, mm. what I'm going to talk about. I'm in a crazy space right now. I'm with a dude right now that is in a relationship. I got out of relationship with a goddess in jail to go be a side girl to this dude because of a dream that God showed me. And I'm having faith. So rap about that. I know. But it hurts. That's probably the best music. I know. But it's real. But it hurts. Mm. Me on the phone crying to him like, well, you, like you know, and then me leaving the dude in jail, but not even leaving him because I made sure he was straight, like, and he can vouch for that. I whole year and some change, he come home in like a month. I made sure he was straight because I'm solid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I knew that, and I and I told him like, I'm not for you, because I know what God showed me that I'm not for you. And sometimes it be like that. Like, maybe you was the guy that get me into this place because I was normally having this dude for this, this dude for that. And then I met him, and I respect myself now. Mm. How has it been with, like, you say you with somebody that's in a relationship. Like, I, I, I never heard somebody just being open, so open about that or okay with that. Because like, how is that? I'm a real person. How is that? How is it? Yeah. Most days you cry because you want them to yourself. Do y'all stay um, together? No. Is it like Polly? No. It's, he makes time. He does. And he's a, <sighs> it's complicated, but I used to talk to him a long time ago, mm. and I came back to him. Um, I call him OG, but he's he's different. He's How so? Like, what's different? Different for me. If I say I want, I'm more of a girl that. If I say I want this done, I want it done. I want it done. And he's more of a, he going to do it on his time. Mm. And I don't know why God showed me what he showed me, but my pastor said it was to make me into, <laughs> what she say it was to make me. God do things for a reason. I said, okay. But, um, Me and him, or it's, I don't know what to say about it. It's its complicated. Mm. I'm just trying to understand. I'm trying to figure it out. I really am. I'm, I'm trying you, to. You the, got daughters? I got one daughter. You got one daughter. What do you tell your daughter in that situation? If, she's, if, if your daughter is Akbarvi right now, right? And she said, you know, God came to me in a dream, and she said, this man has a is in a relationship, but he's my husband, right? What do you tell your daughter? I tell my daughter to sit back and pray, cause that's what I'm doing. Mm. You think I want? You think for one moment when I can be messing with? Do you know what type of niggas in my DM? Oh, you ain't gonna tell me. I can imagine. Child, but see. It ain't about that. It's about I know what God showed me, and I know if I be obedient to God. No matter what nobody else thinks. No matter what nobody else thinks. See, this is the thing. A lot of people didn't think I'd make it this far, but I was obedient, and I seen it. Mm. My family, nobody, friends, they laughed. Everybody laughed. They didn't think I'd make it this far. They laughed at me. Oh, I'm a rapper. Oh, they laughed. But now she got a song with Nicki Minaj. On Nicki Minaj's song, though. 
And to a lot of people, it ain't big. But to a, a lot of people, it's very, very big. You must be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you must be out your fucking mind. You know, but no, a lot of people try to downplay it. Well, downplay it if you want. But that's real big. And she could have got anybody. Anybody, she could have, she could have got anybody to do that. The song was already going and doing what it was supposed to do. She didn't need to come and get the Queen of Atlanta. She didn't need to come get me. That's crazy because you say, um, begin in the beginning when we said let's put a little thumbtack in it. You was like, you don't think you made it as far as you could because just being too honest, right, or being yeah. real, right? I feel like you could definitely make it, but I would be lying to say if I don't think it put a stain on somebody named like Nicki Minaj, for example, right? I feel like Nicki Minaj don't get the respect that she deserves because she's probably too honest. Like, she's too real. Like she's No, I don't think that. I think Nicki Minaj, when she first came out, it wasn't social media and all that. Yeah. She really grinded. She's special It wasn't sure. a TikTok. It was really push your pen and rap. Dirty Money, Big Fendi, Nikki. Facts. Then the Cortez and the Gene and the Sean G and G, the team, you know. But it was, I got to rap. And I want to rap. Nowadays, you can just get on TikTok and just. But what I mean is I feel like she's super vocal, though. Like, she's. She's vocal. Listen why she's vocal now. Shit probably hurt her feelings, too. But <laughs> like, it's not she, even that. She's vocal now because she have all these M's. She can do what she want to do. I don't have that. I got to mm. shut up. <laughs> I don't. A lot of stuff, like, even they wanted me to say and speak on certain stuff. I just said I got to shut up because they already got this. So certain stuff I can't speak on because, baby, I ain't got it yet. Mm. You know? And I got these kids that's in this nice 3,000 and some square feet house. Wait, can I move in? Can we, I, you know what I'm saying? We can move in. Move that on. I got a feed that like nice things and, you know, and I'm still trying to figure it out. And I'm still trying to really be able to tell my story and really just go how I want to go, mm. you know. And I'm still holding on to that dream that God showed me that I haven't even fulfilled yet. Mm. See, God showed me that I was going to be one of the ones and I haven't got there yet. So, you definitely one of the ones, though. Like, yeah, you they know that. They can't deny that. You definitely one of the ones. They can't deny that. Even if they try to downplay it or, oh, yeah, she's this, but she can really rap, but she just this and she that. So now I got to be mindful of what I put on social media. But does that fuck up the uh, the creativity, though? Like being so mindful of everything and everybody? Of course. I, I make this line in a rap, and I said, and I'm pretty in real life, this glow don't get no realer. Oh my God, she's dissing Glorilla. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> people are crazy. It's like, like what? That's like when people said uh, Drake was dissing uh, Meg. Like it's like, bro, it's some things just be play on words, bro. Yeah. Like it don't be that serious. It's like like Glorilla never did nothing to me. I'm happy for her. Like go do your thing. Like anybody that come from them trenches, I want to see you flourish. Like go get it. Even okay, I I did the Holy Grail. And I said this in the in the in the words in my lyrics. I say, uh, um, I'm still with the king, not T I P. I mean Gooch, did you miss this? This that Akbar with the dreads, now stretch that. This that Akbar that now excuse that. This that that get popping, big V now. This that that don't want peace, no white flags. They thinking I'm dissing tilt. My homeboy name, King Gooch. <laughs> I said, I'm still with the king. Not T-I-P. I mean, Gooch, did you miss this? Mm. Why would I diss Tip? Like, Tip is one of the ones. I love Tip. Like, and Tip fuck around. Tip fuck around because you're a feature that go crazy, too. It's like. like, this, like but this is what understand. I'm saying. Then I even shouted him out. And I said, at the end, I was like, I spit grands for this hustle. Where's T-I-P? Uh, maybe Q, she should have signed me because I'm still pushing P. Like. They start to, you know, they just want to just make anything out of anything. And one thing about Tip, like, I always looked up to Tip. I always loved Tip. And 
I'm always love Tip. I love Tiny, you know. Um, and Tiny is like my my cousin Candy's sister. Like, you know, why would I diss um, Tip a Tiny? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think they just be want to make something out of me. Like, they just be want a problem. See, one thing about me, you gonna know if I'm dissing. I'm gonna say it. I'm like, yep. I'm a, you know, and it's just like, that guy's so crazy when you gotta even explain that. Mm. Yeah, this damn you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. Like, yeah, it, like it's honestly, like, why do I have to explain this? But you you don't though. That's like honestly, you you explaining it is honestly like responding to comments. Yeah, honestly, like it's like. But this to dude had comments, it like a, a what's the name comments. on it, and I just didn't want it to be because it's so used to they so used to me being a villain, and it's like, look, I don't want this life. Like, look, I just want to tell my story. I want to feed my. I want to feed my kids, bro. What do you think? Where you think the villain came from? Was it loving hip hop or? It's definitely that? that. So again, you gave respect to her mad times, Mona, right? I love Mona yeah. because at the end of the day, it changed my life. You know what I'm saying? But Mona, not the producer that get on and say, "Oh, you need to do this and do that." Mona, not that. So let me ask you this then: understanding what it does to your image and your likeliness, right, and your name. Why I do was so many... not. Let's go back. When I did Love and Hip Hop, I was a girl from the streets trying to figure it out. But most of those girls going are. To, but listen, going on television, just, oh, um, oh, this what, okay, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, they calling, we calling around storylines. Oh, we need to do this, do this. That's how that went. Mm. Some of that was true. Some of it was not. Right. You know, so a lot of people felt the need to think something else and that's cool too and i'm really tired of explaining that mm. and i think what it is it's i lost myself with worrying about what everybody think mm. and worrying about the comments and the people until you know it had me in shambles of i don't even want to say this in a rap or and now it's like i'm at a space where it's writer's block because oh I got to be careful almost. It's in exactly. <laughs> it's like I gotta watch my mouth to in too, too many different places that it, it's not even fun. Just no more. feel I won't look like a villain, and I'm just tired. And I feel like my story just haven't been told. I want to tell my story. I want to just rap. That's it. Yeah. See, my question is for the people that's coming up again, because like I feel like our purpose is really so people don't go through the same thing we went through, mm -hmm. right? My question is, why do so understanding what it does to your name? Nothing against Mona, right? But understanding, because so many people had these same stories about love and hip hop. Understanding what it does to your name. Why do so many girls continue to make the same mistake? Because they broke. I was broke. Mm. I didn't have no money. I was in the street hustling. I wanted to. I wanted to to, to get better. Mm. I don't have no regrets of doing it. I would do it all over again. Mm. You hear me saying on here, I'm not where I want to be still, but I'm not where I used to be. So I got a lot to thank God about. Heavy talk that shit now. For you know real. what I'm saying? Yeah. You talking to a girl that stayed in trap houses, was moving for niggas, was uh, doing all type of things. Let's talk about how I might have to fuck a nigga to pay my light bill mm. to survive. I'm, I'm really from the streets. So I don't judge. Mm. I can't judge you for your mishaps or your shortcomings. I never do. I don't, if you even, even go on my relationship advice when I do big mama talk, I never judge people. I've been there. I know how I feel to wake up, not have nothing in your house to eat, to feed yourself. You don't know your last meal. You ain't know your next meal finna. You got to call this man. You don't even want to call. And you know he finna want some top. To give you a couple dollars. Hmm. I ain't never graduated from high school. I barely made it through. They was pushing me on. You talking to I'm 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 a project chick. Straight from the streets, from the gutter. So when people looking at me and they want me to be a role model, I can't be that. No, that's not true. But I, I don't, I don't really agree. feel like I can be that. I can what? be you the perfect role model. You're tripping. I don't think that. I You're think tripping. I can be I think I can be who I am and that's Akbar V. But that's a 
I'm, I, that's why I got it. I'm sorry. I've been listening to you the whole time, but that's why I disagree because, bro, you've been through it. You're the lie. perfect person to tell somebody wh what it looked like coming through it, what it looked like getting through it, what it looked like being on the other side. A lot of people be pe perpetrating and perpetuating a life that they really don't know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I listen to you because I understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I talk, like, I see my mom in fucking crack house, like literally like like the wire from Baltimore. Like I'm from Baltimore, like real live crack house. Like that shit mm -hmm. hurt my heart to this day. So when I hear you, I really hear a piece of me, but I'm hearing you. But when you say that, I don't agree. I only because, bro, you are the perfect role model for these motherfuckers. Cause you can tell them, bro. So how do I how do I tell them in my music that? Cause that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about when I had to watch my mom smoke dope walking down in my auntie and Nora basement or you know they telling me I'm gonna be like my mom growing up you know my story never but got told mm. maybe because you know I held myself back with drama okay we can say that but what about the times that I was never in drama like now before I got into it with old girl about this feature I was I was clean slate my name was not even in no bull crap I done Came out of the streets. I've been in the house with my children. That's just the world that we, like, bullshit sells, right? And I know it's unfortunate, but, like, you don't have to fall into that. And, yeah, you might have took a little backslide with that. And I did. You know what I'm saying? And, but that's cool. And that's the thing, though. It's like when but you take a cool. backslide, <laughs> they never let you forget it. But fuck Even, them, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got real niggas in your corner. You, yeah. you can call. You probably can call Nikki right now. You know what I'm saying? So and it's I like, could. And so I it's could. like, I get it. But, like, bro, like, bro. That's why I say I love the space that I feel because, like, it's And just, you know what I, I can say like, honestly about Nikki? Nikki got on the phone and she said, when it stopped being fun, then it's a problem. She mm. said it's supposed to be fun. I say, Nikki, it's not fun for me right now. Mm. But that's okay, too, though. Because it's, it, it's, it's not fun right now. I'm uncomfortable. But I'm uncomfortable. I'm, I'm wondering... Was, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Let me give you another perspective, though, right? Because that's true. What she said is true. But guess what, though? Also, when you work out and you start growing muscles and you start getting them abs, guess what? That's uncomfortable, too. Mm -hmm. So growth is uncomfortable as well. Not saying that it, sh it shouldn't be fun, but I'm saying sometimes it's uncomfortable because you know You know why I love Kevin Gates so much? He's a likable guy. I mean, why, <laughs> why, why do you, though? I call, I call Kevin on the phone. Kevin care about my where my well being, and that's why I love him For because sure. he cares about the person. He don't care about Aubrey. He care about Valerie. Mm -hmm. And I say, Kevin, they want me to rap about turnt stuff and all that, but I'm in pain. And Kevin said, "Well, rap about the pain." And he said to me, he "said And when you got one of them ones that you believe in, give it to me. We're gonna shoot the video and we're gonna do it." That's what I, I said there. Like, talk about that shit. Like, yeah, it might not seem like it's going to be the easiest. It might not seem like it's going to pop the fastest. But when niggas feel it, they're going to feel it. It's going to mean more. It's just real. Let's, let's just be real. Like, it's just mean more. When we, like, damn, like, I feel that shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, Boosie, you want to talk shit? You want to run? Like, I still feel that to this day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z song cry. I still feel that to this day. Like, so it's like, I get it. But you don't have to confirm to these niggas. Like, and that's the you thing, and that's, that, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to confine. Like, I just, I'm not in no contract right now. I just want to rap. And what I'm going to do is, after I get out what I'm doing with God, I'm just going to go. I'm going to jack beats. I'm going to write. That's hard. And I'm going to get producers. And I'm going to just write. And I'm going to tell my story. So you're not working with, um, Tess, what's the, Cortez. Yeah, Cortez no more? Nah. Um, he was the M Young Money. He managed... Wayne. Wayne in the right. Yeah, Ted and me, um, we're not working together, but Ted's just still there in my okay. corner. I love you. You got a lot of people in your corner. You trip me. Like you come over here to like you got people in Ted's your corner. Ted is the person that gonna always be there. He's like a father figure to me and I love Ted. Mm. Because even if, you know, even if I do, even if I don't, he's there. Mm. He gonna be there. Yeah, I mean man, I know this. this I love the space you in, yo. Just like even just me yeah. doing my research, bro, I swear to God, I was looking like bro. Like, this sound like me. I'm like, I get it, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it's and it's so hard to get out those those that hole that people that box that people try to put you in. They try to box me. Like even like even now to this day, like what I what I don't fuck with is like underhanded compliments. And what I mean that like people are like, oh my god, you came so far. First of all, 
They didn't even know me. Like, don't tell. Like, are people, somebody give you a compliment and swear, like, they trying to come. Like, nah, I'm not accepting your underhanded compliment. Like, you can't. So, nah, I've been a good person, bro. You just see me in those see, small. even that, like, even that, like, I never once been a bad person. I always had a good heart. Bro. I'm and, just, <laughs> I think what it is, I'm misunderstood. But not even that. People just so judgmental. What you like, 33, 30, mm -hmm. 33, right? Think about think about this. Let's paint this picture, right? For mm -hmm. all the fucking assholes, idiots, right? Paint this picture. For all the times that you had something negative going on, right? Even all of those times don't even amount to more than half of your life. Mm -hmm. So, like, people just, they judge what they see because they don't understand it. So, like, no, oh, you know like, what? you're not a bad a person. A lot of people <laughs> are just really jealous, too. Yeah, niggas are dumb. People be wondering how you got this far and how you made it this far. And every time I give them the formula, they laugh. I'm on live. I'm praying. That's the formula. Facts. But they okay. laugh and they mocking it. Ah, ha, ha. She's speaking witchcraft because I'm speaking in tongues. Mm. But really, this is the beautiful gift that you can ever get. This is more beautiful than the rapping that the gift that I that I was instilled with rapping. This is me and God talking. Like, but they saying, "Oh no, as a person, got to be here to do this." And, yeah. I, <laughs> people okay. don't understand what they get. People like okay. When shit is different to people, they reject it. Like that just is what it is. Yeah. When, when people when shit is different, but guess what? Most of the times it's different wins. Like the people that you we think is crazy be the special ones. So it's cool. And like, I know I'm special. I know facts. that I'm gifted. I know that God got a, a purpose. And my real calling is to save souls. I gotta lead God flock back to him. And you know, that comes down the line when I fulfilled the prophecy of me doing what he showed I was going to do. You know mm. what I'm saying? And that what Foxy told me. She said she had a dream about me. And she said, Akbar, she said, you're supposed to lead God flock back to him. And she went on to tell me how she was one of the biggest girls in the world. And she said, I didn't do right by my God. This coming out of Mm. Legend mouth. And you gonna sit up here on this platform and say you ain't a role model. Nigga, if that's not a role model, I don't know what is. I don't feel that's like the biggest I am role model. Yet. And you know why I love Foxy the way I love Foxy? Because everybody could have took me under their wing and nurtured me and told me the do's and don'ts. Foxy did. Mm. Foxy gave me the do's and the don'ts and you know, and I understood. Man, what? That's more of <laughs> She gave me, don't do this, don't do that. Uh, I, you know, people don't, you know, and even when, you know, when it came down to in this industry, you know, with the side picking, and she explained to me, she was like, man, this industry ain't no different in the streets. You from this side of town, and they don't mess with this side of town, you know your hood ain't gonna like that. And that's true. I'm from where I'm from. My hood ain't messing with you, I can't mess with you. That's where I'm from. How am I going to go to my hood and say, oh, yeah, did... come on. You know, this is real life. And the industry is no different than the streets. Mm. That's why a lot of these people dying. Because no, they done run the streets into the industry. This is how it is. And you just got to be prepared for what comes behind, you know, every action that you, you, you make. Like every, you know, right now I just feel like, I'm at a standstill and I'm making I'm at a standstill and I'm making a lot of changes for me. And I'm surrendering to God. Well man, I appreciate you for pulling up, man. Yo, you gotta come through again. I will. After you gotta come through after your um you in the after you get out the closet so we can have a drink together. You know what I mean? 'Cause mm -hmm. I'm I respect it. I fuck with it though. I um I think this is good. I think it was too. I told you we was gonna have a good one. Without we ain't gonna say no, no facts. We ain't even gonna say why she said it, cause whatever. <laughs> but I appreciate you. For I real. said we was gonna have a good one without the alcohol, and we did. No, it was cool. I love it. Yeah, you gotta I pull up again, it. though. I'm pull. gonna pull up, but we ain't gotta do that. We can't. That's I don't know how this. I don't know how it's gonna be after that. I'm telling you, this is serious. What I'm dealing with. No, I feel you. I feel you. No, I, I thank you, man. Listen, uh. Great conversation, man. Uh -huh. Akbar V, J Hill Podcast. Mr. J Hill, it's a wrap. We out. Appreciate you. For real, that was good.